Now. Okay, namaste everyone. My name is Mohit, and today uh, we will practice uh, some pranayam on our one problem, very common problem at present to anxiety and Yeza. So he's explaining in Spanish, so it's more easy to understand in English and in a Spanish language. So first of all, uh, we will discuss about anxiety, what is this, and then uh, which pranayam is good for this problem and how or how long we need to practice pranayam for our mm -hmm. problem. So we will discuss about this. Comenta, ahora sí que el silencio para que nos escuchen los ruidillos. Comenta que hoy vamos a trabajar pranayamas para la gestión de la ansiedad que es pues un, una problemática que a día de hoy pues es bastante común y comenta que nos va a explicar pues qué ejercicios practicar y cuánto rato y en qué momentos. So anxiety, I think everyone know about anxiety, but uh, the, it's a very common uh, disease, it's a very common problem because uh, uh, Sometimes we are thinking without any topic, without any reason. So this is also cause of anxiety. Or sometimes we are very uh, worried about our work, about our family is going outside, is safe or not safe. Means sometimes we think too much, then it's coming our body anxiety, and then it's take uh, a second. Uh, what we call a second place is a depression. So when we have a normal anxiety, so during the normal anxiety, it's more easy to take out from our body. Otherwise, these anxieties change in depression and then it's a little bit hard to come out from the depression, from the anxiety. But according to yoga, it's a very simple to come out from anxiety mm -hmm. process with a, some technique of pranayam with a normal uh, practice of asana and a normal cleansing technique mm -hmm. so this part of yoga is help to come out from anxiety problems. Mm -hmm. comenta que cuando llevamos bastante tiempo con ansiedad sin resolverla entonces esto puede derivar a vivir eh, depresión y la depresión es algo bastante más difícil de resolver que la ansiedad, pero eh, comenta que desde el punto de vista, desde el yoga, es bastante fácil tanto prevenir como gestionar la ansiedad con unas prácticas regulares para no tener que llegar a ese estado de depresión. And second and last point, uh... Uh, in our body, if oxygen supply is good, so we are free from anxiety, but if we have lack of oxygen in our body, so the main cause is the main reason of anxiety. So with the pranayam, we will try to recover this part. When we have a lack of oxygen in our body, so bodies create and produce a kind of a chemicals, and these chemicals is not good for our body, and then take a second uh, what we call second uh, stage as an anxiety. Mm -hmm. So with the pranayam, with the, these two pranayam techniques, these two techniques work on our body to maintain our oxygen level in our body. Okay. Comenta que una de las causas de, de la ansiedad es que hay una falta de oxígeno en, en nuestro cuerpo. Entonces, mientras que hay suficiente aire o suficiente oxígeno, entonces estamos bien, pero si hay un, un déficit, si falta, entonces el cuerpo genera como una especie de químicos que es eh, perjudicial para la salud. Entonces, lo que hacemos con pranayama es intentar eh, aportar de nuevo más oxígeno y regular. But it's very easy if you're in a regular practice within a one and two months is 100% we definitely come out from anxiety process or anxiety problem if we are in a regular practice with some practice of asana and some practice of pranayam 100 percent come out from anxiety process comenta que es 100 seguro que si practicas durante cada día con pranayama y lo combinas también con algunas asanas 
en uno o dos meses 100% es posible de gestionar la ansiedad. También, claro, depende del grado, depende del grado de práctica, pero vamos, que aplicando una práctica correcta sea más o menos tiempo, esto ya lo digo yo, <ríe> para tampoco generar como ¿no? eh, presión, es posible eh, si vamos practicando. Por ahora, vamos a empezar nuestra clase con la OM, con la prayer, y luego vamos a continuar nuestra continue clase y discutir sobre el prayer. Ok. So first we are coming for prayer, sit in any comfortable position with the spine straight. Both hand in a Kyan Mudra, we will take like this, our both hand, our first fingertip and thumb tip touch each other, slowly place our knee, chest up, shoulder down, eyes closed, we will take a one time inhale, and exhale, now we will chant three times Om, first we will take a deep inhale, then start. Om. Both Hari Namaste Mutra will chant one time Guru Vandana. Start. Guru Brahma. Guru Brahma. Guru Vishnu. Guru Vishnu. Guru Deva. Guru Maheshwara Maheshwara Guru Rishaksha Guru Rishaksha Param Brahma Param Brahma Tasmai Sri Tasme Sri Guru Venama Guru Venama Guru Venama Guru Venama Guru Venama Guru Venama Slowly so remove your thumb, create a heat. Then leave your eyes, open your eyes behind your palm, look around and slowly release an old body part, head down. You know, there you go. So now we'll discuss about the pranayam. So we have a two main pranayam for our anxiety. First is a primary pranayam, and second is Nadi Shodhan pranayam. So first we will discuss about a Nadi Shodhan and both Pranayam is good for all problems related to our mentally problem. Any kind, not just only for anxiety, for depression, for headache, for migraine, for insomnia, from, for other problems also. So these two is the good and effective Pranayam for our mental problem or, or physical problem also. So first Pranayam is name is Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Nadi means channel. In our body, we have a thousand channel in our body, but we will work on two channel, left or right. Uh, so right or left. Mm -hmm. So Nadi means channel and Shodhan means purify, purification. So when our these two channel is purified, clean, then it's more easy to take a deep inhale and long exhale means in a good quantity, it's possible to take inhale and exhale. 
or when we have a good level of oxygen in our mind in our body so we are free from our problems because 90 percent reason of our mentally problem is lack of oxygen when we are busy in our work when we are busy with other responsibility so this time uh, our bodies they want more uh, oxygen flex oxygen but we are not provide but uh, when we are not provide then is change in our problems the bodies create so many problems anxiety depression headache tension like this but when we have a good supply of, of oxygen in body then we are free from all problem so this yeah yeah i think you just need to explain this part. yeah <laughs> comenta que estos ejercicios no solo son beneficios para gestionar la ansiedad sino también para insomnio para otros tipos de eh, dolencias tanto psicológicas como físicas Comenta eh, que el nombre de la primera técnica que vamos a practicar, ya que hay muchas técnicas de la llama que funcionan, pero él ha seleccionado las dos que están más indicadas para la ansiedad. Y eh, él comenta que el significado de esta técnica significa canal, no, no dice, es eh, canal en español, y comenta que tenemos muchos canales energéticos en nuestro cuerpo. Pero básicamente vamos a trabajar con dos, que sería pues nuestro orificio nasal izquierdo y derecho. Y eh, de esta manera vamos a ayudarle a nuestro cuerpo, a nuestro cerebro, a que tenga más oxígeno. Ya que comenta que en nuestro día a día, con lo atareados y atareadas que vamos, olvidamos de respirar pues, eh, correctamente. Y entonces eh, empieza a ver ese ese déficit. Okay, thank you. So now I will show the technique how to practice this one. Then you will continue. Uh, what happened with the camera? It's just yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. So now I will show the technique how to practice this one. Its name is Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. In English, it's called alternative breath so i will show you the technique is very simple our first two finger will place here we will fix under our thumb like this like this no? we'll fix like this is very simple to do thumb we will use for right nostril and ring finger we will use for our left nostril so we'll use like this okay first and very important technique is we always start with the left nostril not with the right nostril so i will show you the complete round just look here and then we will practice together Él va a mostrarlo una vez y luego podremos practicar juntos. so first close your right nostril and inhale only from left nostril like this after the inhalation close your left nostril open your right and exhale from right When exhale is out, again inhale from right. And exhale from left. This is our one complete round. Inhale from left nostril, exhale from right. Again inhale from right and exhale from left. Mm -hmm. So this is the one complete round. So first we will practice one and two times for understand. If you have any problem, we'll discuss. After that, we will continue our practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vamos a practicar una o dos veces por si os sale alguna duda y entonces eh, practicaremos eh, un ratito más juntos. Comenta que es muy importante, bueno, habéis visto cómo se coloca la mano, ¿Sí? entonces eh, con un dedo tapamos el primer orificio. Siempre empezamos respirando por el lado izquierdo. Entonces, eh, primero inhalas exhalas por el mismo lado y entonces cuando ya has hecho la respiración completa cambias de lado so I'm ready good mm -hmm. so we'll just try one and two time then mm -hmm. we'll continue so she's try ah you eh, try one more podéis more. probar ahora yeah. y si tenéis cualquier eh, duda o pregunta nos comentáis then it's more easy to continue practice so first we will try one and two time 
mm -hmm. and then continue. Yes, ma'am, try. Good, very good. So now it's clear. So we will practice like this. This is the first step. This is not a complete pranayam. This is the only the one part of pranayam means only just 50% of pranayam. But if we are doing this with a normal inhale and exhale is also good for our anxiety and is also good for other. But during the practice, a one point is very important, inhale and exhale. We don't take a shot. We'll try to take a deep inhale and long exhale. And we will try to take a few seconds extra in exhalation. For example, if we are taking a five second inhale, so we'll try to complete exhale in a six second, not in a five second, a one second extra. Then it's more effective for our body. See? Comenta que si respires de manera natural, pues ya es beneficioso, pero que es mejor si intentamos profundizar un poco más en cada respiración y en concreto al exhalar, alargar un poquito más. En vez, eh, si inhalamos en cuatro segundos, exhalar en seis, pero un poquito más. Ok, so now we will practice ten breath. After ten breath, we will discuss about our experience. Mm -hmm. ¿no? So we are ready for 10 breaths. Vamos a probarlo 10 veces y después comentamos qué tal. Good. So from here, eyes close and take your hand positions. If you are right hander, use your right. If you are left hander, then use your left hand. Good. So from here, we will take inhale from left nostril. Close your left, open your right and exhale from right. Again, inhale from right and exhale from left. So we'll continue according to our breath, not with me. We'll practice according, to, but 10 times.
Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back, open your eyes and relax. So we did only 10 times, 10 breaths. So after the 10 breath, we what kind of feeling? Like uh, you are feeling like uh, this time I'm taking a, a good fresh inhale and exhale means uh, something is more compared to before the 10 rounds. This time we are taking, we feel nice, we feel now like we are taking more inhale and more exhale is up. So, yes, ma'am, you are feeling what kind of feeling you are feeling now after the 10 times. Le, le gustaría saber cómo se está sintiendo después de hacer el ejercicio, qué sensaciones aparecen y si habéis sentido como que ahora habéis respirado de verdad, ¿no? que habéis respirado profundo en comparación a nuestra respiración normal. So, it's very uh, easy to feel or when we are doing it outside not in a room or not in a room. It means in open area, like in the morning time, early morning, fresh, when you fresh, then go outside and in an open environment and practice this one. So you feel like my body is filled with a fresh oxygen mm -hmm. and your mood is changed and you feel light and calm. But this time we are doing in a room, but in a room is also, we have a good ventilation. But uh, one time, when you have free time, then practice in an open environment. So that time you feel perfect. Mm -hmm. Comenta que si tenéis ocasión de practicar fuera en el aire libre, pues eh, podréis notar más esta sensación de respirar eh, profundamente, aire puro. También dice que si podéis practicar por la mañana, pues también os va a ayudar como a mejorar el, el estado de ánimo. Eh, también a sentiros más calmadas y a notar más luz que él llama, ¿no? Como un poquito estar más de buen humor. But we need to practice always in an open area, in a, where we have a good uh, uh, air, like a park, or if you are living in a mountain, this is the perfect place if somebody is living in the mountain, near the mm -hmm. mountain, and near the river. This is amazing if somebody's living near the 
uh, river because when we are taking hill, so some particles, the water particles of air, then it's come in our body, then we'll feel very, very calm from inside. So uh, I hope you feel good. We all feel good with this 10 breath, but 10 breath is not enough. We need to practice minimum 20 to 30 breath, or we need to practice 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We will take according to our timings. You will continue your practice according to time. If you have 10 minutes, then continue 10 times. 10 minutes, inhale and exhale. Just only on inhale and exhale. Focus only on deep inhale and long exhale. And till we will practice this one when we are taking the uh, good time in exhalation. Good time in exhalation means we are taking a more time compared to inhalation. Mm -hmm. If we are taking the inhalations uh, in a five seconds, so we try to complete exhalation six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 means till 10 times, means 10. If you are taking five minutes, we'll take a multiply of inhalation. Then our inhale and ex exhale complete, or we are ready for next level. Mm -hmm. So always we'll try to take time, exhale, time in exhale, the multiply two with inhale. Mm -hmm. Comentaba antes que es muy importante si podemos eh, practican fuera y si practicamos dentro, que sea en un lugar bien ventilado, ya que las partículas de la naturaleza, un entorno natural, pues también eh, al entrar en nuestro cuerpo también nos ayudan a potenciar nuestra salud. Después comenta que 10 respiraciones no son suficientes, que sería ideal si podemos hacerlo unas 20 veces, practicar aproximadamente 15 minutos. Si no pueden ser esos 15 minutos, entonces lo que puedas, ¿no? Cinco, diez respiraciones, pero mantener esa práctica diaria. So, our one pranayam only on with inhale and exhale is a good for our old body, means our physical body, mental body, just not only for anxiety. It's a universal pranayam. It's good in all case, any kind of mentally and physically problem. Okay? But not practice in a polluted area, mm -hmm. right? like uh, uh, near the road or near the industrial area where the working is going on, we always practice in a fresh environment, mm -hmm. only just few precautions. Okay. Comenta, eh, bueno, la importancia de no practicar en lugares contaminados y eh, dice que no es solo bueno para la ansiedad, sino que también es eh, bueno generar para la salud en general y eh, para ello pues bueno nos, nos ayuda el introducir esta práctica en nuestra rutina so if you want to discuss if you want to ask any question related to this one we will discuss uh, otherwise we will continue with our second pranayam for our anxiety ¿Tenéis alguna duda o algo que queráis comentar de este ejercicio? Si no, pasaremos al segundo. Yo, cada vez que cuando empiezo, uh -huh. a medida que vamos haciendo el ejercicio, tengo más de respirar pulmonar. Más necesidad. Es todo como más intenso. ¿No? Primero parece que entra poquito aire y a medida que va cada vez tienes más eh, capacidad pulmonar, mm. más. Después las sensaciones eh, de paz, ¿no? De estar en paz cuando acabas. Mm. Es, para mí es muy relajante, que te hace concentrar en la respiración, en el parar, en el uno desconecta de lo que estás pensando. Cuando acabas el ejercicio, la verdad es que te encuentras mucho más tranquilo. En mi caso, que yo tengo que ¿No? sí. Bueno, es buena señal. Es buena señal. Yo creo que sí que es así en todos los ejercicios, en cualquier tipo de meditación. Sí. 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 Sí.
And later when she is like breathing more, every time she is feeling that she can breathe more deeply. And like if every time she needs like more oxygen, then like I start to feel the need to breathe more deep. Mm -hmm. And she's starting to feel like more calm and relaxed. And she say that in her case, she has anxiety and she's feeling that it's good. That's good. So it's a good news. Congratulations. It's working. And uh, <laughs> uh, next time when our next pranayam is class come, then we will take a, a advanced level of this pranayam. That time is more effective for our body. So uh, congratulations one more time and keep going. Continue practice when you have free time. And every day, not every day, every week, you just improve your, uh, take your long time and improve your practice means improve your breath. In this week, same time. In next week, try to take more time in inhale and exhale. And in the third week, try more time in deep inhale and exhale. And in fourth week, take more time. So within a uh, four and five week you are the complete your inhalation exhalation is perfect then nobody's hurt you in a very quick time you will very calm from inside comenta que un ejercicio que podéis hacer es vale esta semana me tomo bueno practico con los mismos tiempos a la segunda semana intento respirar más profundamente no tener un poquito más de duración entre inhalación y exhalación, tercera semana un poquito más, ¿no? Y de esta manera ir alargando, alargando, y dice que cuando consigáis potenciar esta distancia, nadie os enfadará rápidamente porque estáis ahí como calma. Okay. So, and this pranayam is good for anxiety, even is also good for insomnia. If somebody has this problem or sleeping disorder in a night time, if we have practiced this one and then you close your eyes, so it's helpful also for sleep. So our second pranayam, its name is Brahmari Pranayam, humming B breath in the English language. So in this pranayam, we need to create a sound like a B. Honey bee. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The sound B sound is like mm, so we need to create a, a this sound. Okay. So in this pranayam, we need to some kind of a precautions and technique and be benefit. So we'll discuss uh, step by step about our this pranayam. La segunda técnica es el pranayama de la abeja, que Carmen ya está más acostumbrada a practicarla. Y eh, en efecto es otra, o, otra de las técnicas que ayuda mucho a gestionar la ansiedad. Entonces vamos a intentar reproducir ese sonido de, de la abeja que hacía como móvil. Y eh, a partir de ahí pues eh, vamos a notar sus beneficios a medio, corto, medio y largo plazo, eh, y remarcaba que también es positivo para el insomnio. So, I will show you the technique, how to practice this one. So, we need to just focus only on our teeth. During the practice, we don't take teeth together. Always maintain a gap between our teeth during the practice. Only just during the practice, not every day all time just only during the practice we don't take it together second thing if we have ear problems in this case we don't practice this one then we will practice without our hand without just one mm -hmm. so main technique and main point is teeth mm -hmm. we don't take together so i will show you the complete round then we'll discuss about this so first of all with the first finger we will plug our ear or block our ear like this. No sound is out mm -hmm. and go out. And here, first we will take a deep inhale. And with exhalation, we create a sound. Mm -hmm. 
will take a long time in this sound. Inhale, it's a complete in a few seconds. And exhale. Take long time. Right? So when we are taking a long time in exhalation, it means we are doing a perfect, we are doing a well, and this pranayam is working on our body or in our body. So technique is very simple with a plug. Uh, with the first finger, we'll mm -hmm. plug our ear like this, close your eyes, and maintain a gap between your teeth, not together, and tongue, yes, one is left, tongue. We don't touch tongue on our top, down, left, right, we'll take still in the center. And we don't touch our tongue on our top, on our bottom, and left, right, not anywhere, just in the center. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. This one, and we easily practice this one, this technique uh, in a lay down position also. Mm -hmm. So first, you will dis uh, you will practice one time, and then we will discuss if we have any problem, or we will mm -hmm. continue. Okay. Comenta que es muy importante que es un pequeño espacio entre los dientes y la lengua que no toque ni arriba ni abajo. Entonces, como habéis visto, le he hecho una prueba. Eh, la inhalación es bueno, profunda, pero más o menos normal. Y la exhalación, profundizamos un poquito más. Entonces, ahora vamos a probar. Y si tenéis cualquier problema o pregunta, entonces comentamos. Ok. So, first you will practice and check your teeth, tongue, if you are feeling any problem. In this case, we will discuss about this. So, practice one time. And check yourself. Practica una vez y nos comentas qué tal. So very simple, very easy, I think that. Uh, yeah. So with this sound, the B sound, if we have a blockage in our mind, in our nervous system, or in our brain, you know, any part of this part, respiratory, neck, and your head. If we have any blockage in our nerves, in our channel, means nadi. So with this pranayam, it's come out from our nerves means if we have blockages out if we have minor to minor problem in our brain in our nervous system in our nerves anywhere so with this practice is heal or if you have blockages, it's come out then it's more easy to move energy in our nervous system in our brain and it's very common when we are when energy is moving properly in a good quantity so we are free from anxiety mm -hmm. and from any other mentally problem or physically problem. Mm -hmm. Comenta que es un ejercicio sencillo de hacer y bueno si queréis compartir algo Estela <laughs> Algo que quieras compartir. Está el micro, tienes el micro cerrado, ¿eh? Te, te, tienes que activarlo en tu pantalla. Aún no. No sé si te sale un micro ¿Una? ahora. Sí. Sí. No, bien. Eh, con esta vera ha sido eh, practicar ahora solo una vez. Eh, como que luego en en la cabeza, bueno, aquí en esta parte, ¿no? Como que noto así mmm, como más tranquilidad, no sé, como la especie está de zumbido, ¿no? La vibración como que me ha, no sé, me ha dejado una sensación. Uh -huh. Vale, buena señal, bien. <laughs> She said that this vibration uh, let her like a good feeling and calm. That's good. 
So now we will take uh, 10 breaths, means we will continue practice 10 times this one. And after 10, we'll just relax and feel, we will try to feel mm -hmm. in our body and then come out and we'll discuss about mm -hmm. our experience. So okay. we are ready for 10 breaths. Vamos a practicar 10 veces y después comentamos qué tal el ejercicio. Good. So we'll take only 10 rounds. Good. So ready? Good. Take your positions. Start. Mm -hmm. Now we will come out, come back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly open your eyes and relax.
So this is the second pranayam is called primary pranayam in English, mm -hmm. humming the breath. The technique is very simple. We also practice like this. We, if with the finger, if you are not feeling a comfortable, you place your elbow on your knee and then do like this, like this. This is just, if you are doing without this, then we don't feel a good vibration in our body. But when external sound, the outside sound is stopped, like uh, if you won't feel without the hand, then practice in midnight. It's very easy to feel. But this one just for stop all external sound and then practice this one. So it's more easy to feel in our body. So technique is very simple, inhale, and with exhalation, we'll try to create a humming sound. Mm, that's all. And continue practice this one. So within a one and two weeks, we feel a good change in our life in our body. Okay. Comenta que si os cansáis de practicarlo de esta manera, que es una manera de cortar con los ruidos externos, también podéis apoyaros con vuestras rodillas, ¿no? Y y poneros más cómodos. Comenta que si practicáis de manera regular este ejercicio, que fácilmente en las próximas semanas vais a encontrar grandes diferencias en vuestro cuerpo y en vuestra vida. Or if you want to share something related to our first pranam, this pranam, or if you want to ask any question, any doubt, if you have, then we will discuss because we have a good time. So we will discuss about our problems or doubt in these two pranayam. And these two pranayam is not a hundred percent complete, it's only fifty percent complete. And one more point with this technique, we'll try to take a long time in exhalation. We need to work on this part, exhalation, not inhalation. When we are working, we are only on exhalation or inhalation automatically. But first, only on exhalation. Focus on your exhalation and try to take a long time during the exhalation. Mm -hmm. Pregunta si tenéis alguna duda, algo que queréis compartir sobre estas dos técnicas y eh, remarca que sobre todo intentéis profundizar en la exhalación. Or if you want to share, if you want to ask any questions, so we will discuss about our questions. No se te oye todavía. ¿Por qué no? ¿Ahora? Ahora. Vale. Lo mismo que la otra dinámica por la mañana, esta entiendo que es mejor practicarla por la tarde-noche. Mm. Uh, he's asking the other, you say that it's better if you can practice in morning. Mm. And this one, in which moment of the day? This one you easily practice anytime. Means anytime means sir, uh, in the morning is good if when you are doing your normal exercise, normal workup, uh, normal wake up routine exercise, mm -hmm. you will take this one also, and even also in a evening time. Mm -hmm. Because this time, uh, it's good if we are practicing our open areas more good, but uh, this one we easily practice inside also because uh, our main focus on our sound. Mm -hmm. And even also you practice this one when you lay down on your bed and practice five to ten times, then eyes close, concentrate on this sound, and we easily sleep within a few seconds. Comenta que también es positivo si lo puedes practicar por la mañana, en general en momentos donde no haya mucho ruido, que estés, puedas estar más o menos como tranquila también dependiendo, ¿no? Pues en, en que vivamos. <risa> Pero sí, en general esos momentos son bastante recomendados. De nada. <risa> ¿Algo más que queréis comentar o preguntar? Me he quedado súper relajada. Sí, estoy relajada.
Vale, pues seguir manteniendo esta relajación en vuestro cuerpo, en vuestra mente, en vuestra vida. Y nos vemos en la próxima clase. Genial. You want to close? Because they don't have more. Okay, that's good. Uh, but uh, we continue your practice. And uh, practice pranayam after the your physical exercise, not before the exercise. If you like uh, running uh, any exercise or yoga asana, first this one and then mm -hmm. practice pranayam. And after the pranayam, you'll take a meditation. If you are doing a continue, first your body warm up, take your body warm up as an exercise, running, cycling, gym, whatever you like, then pranayam. And after the pranayam, you will take meditation time. And not like after the exercise, our body sweat, our bodies not, we get on feel good with this body. You take a shower, clean your body. When you are ready, then practice pranayam and meditation. Okay, But we'll take a step by step, mm -hmm. like this first exercise. If you like exercise, if you like running, jogging, yoga, mm -hmm. then pranayam. After the pranayam, you take meditation. So always keep in this way. Definitely, everyone come out from this problem. Mm -hmm. Comenta que en caso que practiques deporte, que en general todo el mundo debemos de practicar y sobre todo en casos de ansiedad. Entonces, primero practica el deporte, primero haz tu ejercicio y después vendría eh, pranayama y meditación. O si practicas yoga, primero el yoga, después eh, pranayama en meditación. Pero también comenta que es importante que te estés sintiendo bien, si esos días pues, no te encuentras muy bien. O primero, tampoco lo hagas como tosuda, ¿no? Que eh, te duches, que te tomes tu tiempo, que estés muy cómoda para hacer la, la práctica de pranayama y meditación. So, okay. Uh, we will just close our class with one hand okay. and three shanti. Mm -hmm. So first, sit in any comfortable position with the spine straight. Vamos a cerrar la Both clase. Both hands in the camera, eyes closed. We will ending our class with a one arm and three shanti. First, take a deep inhale and sad. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Slowly we are both hands in the Namaste Mudra. We are together, create a heat, make your both hands. Then keep your eyes, open your eyes behind your palm and ground and slowly release your whole body part. High down, most everyone. Slowly come up, open your eyes and relax. Okay, namaste. Namaste. Nos vemos en la próxima clase. Un besito. Gracias, namaste. Adiós. Chao, gracias. Gracias.